pretty one, a witty one, but I'm never gonna give you none of my corona. Yo, what's up? I'm here today. I'm, it's kind of late and it's a spur of the moment kind of vlog. I mean, I knew it was Wednesday, right? But, you know, it's after work and, you know, I figured that I was going to hook up my Logitech camera. Um, Logitech Quick Cam. AF and you can see if you if you're getting a little motion sick is because I got the face tracking on so it's gonna track my face hopefully anyway since we didn't have any challenges or anything what I decided to do and I was fighting with myself about doing this but I'm going to give you guys a movie review. Two of them. The first one will be The Incredible Hulk. Great movie. I loved it. I'm kind of a nerd anyway, so it, it was great. Blew the first one out the water. You know, the first Hulk, he looked kind of... Um, dumb look kinda slow uh... didn't say anything you know they were just impressing you with the uh... the cinematics of him you know just being strong uh... but the second one was uh... more detailed in in the graphics and the animation it, it was smoother it, it was clean uh, veins and and the hair was actually it was actually flowing you know and Edward Norton Ed Norton he he did a great job portraying Bruce Banner so that's a definite get go see that now I'm gonna tell you about not that not that the biggest ripoff this summer M. Night Shyamalan he's ripped you off before he's ripping people off again mister you didn't see that coming did you he, he, he did it again alright the movie is The Happening. If you haven't seen anything about the movie or heard anything about the movie, something's going on. People are dropping dead. Not dropping dead, but they're committing suicide for no reason at all. Well, of course there's a reason. But when you get to the end, you're going to be like, You didn't see that coming, did you? Seriously? I mean, for real. I mean, Shyamalan, he, he's a great uh, producer of, of, of visuals to stimulate your mind and, and to take a good concept as, as something as large as mass people committing suicide. And then turn around and I see I want to spoil it for y'all. Like I'm so tempted to just tell y'all that grass and bushes and trees are sending chemical messages to each other and releasing chemicals into the air that are affecting humans that 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 they just want to kill themselves. You didn't see that coming, did you? I mean, I want to tell you that, but I'm not going to tell you that. I mean, and it's not going to get all Lord of the Ringy and stuff and 
and the trees going to uproot and bush people getting attacked by bushes and you know people smoking weed get their face ripped off by blunt no they just there blowing in the wind like fucking M. Night Shyamalan you need to stop making movies on the big screen and do that shit on YouTube I mean, that was a total YouTube-ass movie, and, like, oh, I could have did that. Anybody could have did that shit. Man, I'm telling you. I'm happy for two things. Number one, that I didn't pay to go see it. I didn't pay for gas. I didn't pay for popcorn, soda, goobers, twizzlers. And it would have been double that if I took a date. And number two, I'm glad I didn't buy your shit on bootleg. I just streamed it online. And I mean, luckily for you or luckily for me that I did. Because if I would have went to the theater to see that shit, I would have came out mad. I mean, I would... I would have came out so mad that I would have did something to somebody else just to see them get mad. So I wouldn't be mad by myself. You understand what I'm saying? If I would have been coming out of the theater, I would have probably smacked somebody on the neck and they would have been like, what you do that for? Because I'm mad. You see that M. Night Shyamalan movie? <laughs>